Hello, hello. Welcome to Mitch Rep Plays, The Binding of Isaac, episode 117. As you can see, we're playing Vanilla Isaac. Get that cursor off the screen. Um, we played as Vanilla, or it was uh, Vanilla Isaac last time. We're playing as Isaac this time. Last time it was uh, Cain. Uh, should have waited on that spirit heart. I know better than that. That was stupid. Ah, <sighs> annoying. Anyways, hopefully there's no curse room on this floor. He says as there's a curse room on this floor. Um, so we'll go to that, I guess, later, maybe? After the boss? Who knows? Um, it was a cane run last, or, uh, yeah, a cane run last time. It was a bad run. Died on the caves part, too. If you haven't seen it, don't feel like you gotta go back and watch it. It was similar to the damage we just took there. It was horse shit. Um, Book of Belial is interesting. It gives us a better chance to deal with the devil. But it does not... Uh, but we have to give up the D6. So... I think we're going to... Check for maybe a secret room here. Could have probably gotten all those bombs had I, you know, not been an idiot and just walked out. Uh, pin should be should be a boss we can get through without taking damage. Unfortunately, we are going to lose this spirit heart going to um, the curse room. Which is fine. Hopefully we'll just end up on the basement too. And uh, I have pretty good confidence that we can get through the basement too without... Holy shit, pentagram. That's awesome. Um, I think we can get through the basement too without taking damage. So let me know in the comments though, guys. Let me know what you think of... Uh... We're just going to blow it up. Hope for a spirit heart maybe didn't. Got two troll bombs. It's fun. It's fun for all of us. Um, do we have a guaranteed super secret room? I'm gonna say yes. We do. Oh, motherfucker. Shit just got real. Shit just got real. So, let's check out our super secret room here. Sacred Heart, ladies and gentlemen. Sacred Heart. If you haven't seen the last episode, no need to go watch it. Stay right here. This is the one you should be watching. Sacred Heart, give us a Spirit Heart, too. Because if it did, that shit's that's awesome. So I'm not even really sure what Sacred Heart is. I think it's like a huge damage increase. And uh, homing tears, maybe. Some crazy-ass shit like that. Crazy ass shit like every single day may I kick a little something for the G's and I don't know. It's two in the morning and my mama ain't home. He's got bitches. They're in the living room getting it on. <laughs> oh, never gets old. I'm on Sacred Heart. So we are in a really pretty awesome position. Um that was pretty bad damage. I'm gonna be totally and completely honest with you. That was about as bad of damage as we could get. We're not gonna take this pill yet because... Can we, is one of these gonna, none of these are bombs, unfortunately. Unless you get them like cornered, in which case then they do, they do go bomb route. I don't know. Oh, there's a bomb, baby. Hells to the yeah. Alright, Spirit Heart. Just a key. That's okay, I suppose. Um, What would we take in a deal with the devil? Because, I mean, we are super powerful right now. Given we had Sacred Heart show up on the first fucking floor and Pentagram. I don't care who you are. That's some serious luck. Wow. 
serious luck. Um, I don't think we're going to get another reroll here, so I, we're not going to reroll Anarchist Cookbook yet. We likely will end up rerolling it, but just not yet. We're going to wait. Because you never know. We get to deal with the devil. You don't want you don't want to not be able to reroll the deal with the devil item. I'm tempted to open that for sure. So Sacred Heart's pretty awesome. I think we can all agree on that. Um, we'll wait. Just wait, just a second, Monstro. Don't be a douchebag. You're going down, sucker. You're going down, sucker. Yeah, this is going to be pretty easy. There's our deal with the devil. We're not going to take that meat yet. Oh, and we're going to get Krampus. Um, which I think with Sacred Heart could be maybe one of the greatest upgrades because Sacred Heart is such... It's like a ultra shot speed down. I mean, look at how slow our shots go. So even though our range isn't great... We should still be doing... I th I'm guessing it stacks, right? I mean, I assume so. We don't ever give up our uh, HP. Um, we're going to use this bomb to check out this. All right, so we're going to take our pills now. Range down, that sucks. Bad trip, that also sucks. But hey, you know what? We know what's in the rotation. Could be worse. Um... A lot of places the super secret room could be, so we'll just re-roll our anarchist cookbook into lemon mishap. We were due for a shitty item. I'm not too broken up about it. I'm gonna try for the secret room. Could be here. It's not. It's fine. Overall, still a good floor. Um, HP up and lump of coal. Range down. And we also, uh, now know that bad trip, which is a full health pill technically, is in the rotation. Catacombs, can't be too upset about it. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, we're, we're doing plenty of damage. I mean, we're two-shotting the greed heads. Two-shotting them. That does not... Oh, three-shot, maybe? There we go. Three-shotting. Who cares? Uh, Mr. Mega is pretty good. I think we'll just take it. Gives us some bombs. Gives us extra blast damage. How do I feel about this run? I feel real good about it. I like where this run is headed. I would prefer not to take damage on uh, this Catacombs 1. And potentially get a deal with the devil still. Okay, come on guys, perfect. Um, this room makes me slightly nervous. And here's why, because these fucking eternal flies are a fucking nightmare. Alright, so we could go to the shop, we're not going to go to the shop. We're gonna just one-shot these little bastards. This is normally a very difficult room for me, but Sacred Heart made that shit very, uh, very doable. So we haven't taken any damage yet. There's pills. We're not gonna take those because we don't know what they're gonna do. It could be a health down. That would be pretty shitty. Um, almost got the creep there. And, uh, Peep is being kind of a douchebag, if we're being totally honest. We gotta get closer to him. Should have two eyes coming out pretty soon. Yep. Aw, oh, damn it. There goes our deal with the devil chance, which is fine. It's fine. Hopefully people just give us a good item. I don't know what that good item is yet. 
HP, I guess, is what that item is. And uh, full health pill. Sweet. So we got a full health and a bad trip. And we get super wrath. Um, you're in trouble, sir. You're going to get off more than one bomb? Because that's about your only offense. Didn't. All right. So let's look for our secret room. Nope. Not too many places that our super secret room could be. So we're going to try here. Uh, shit, that was lucky. That was lucky. Give me some spirit hearts. Nope. Okay. It's fine. No big deal. No skin off my scrot. Have some more champagne and OJ. We're definitely going to clear out the rest of this floor. There's no right reason not to. And uh, that's... I'll take that. Um, the library. We could probably... I mean, we're not going to turn this library into a double item room. But we could turn the next library into a double item room. Plus, we got a key out of it. So... Basically, we're, uh, we're broke even. Here's another reason why I would prefer regular Isaac. It has one less book. And it doesn't have sulfur. So when I get to deal with the devil, I don't have to worry about sulfur showing up. Sulfur is pretty bad, if we're being honest. Um, where the hell is the secret room? I'm going to guess that it's probably here. Because that's technically in between rooms. It's not there. That's a unique situation. It might be in the corner there by the shop in the super secret room. But we're not going not gonna to bother or worry ourselves with uh, such pity and insignificant... Um, worries. What? English language. Try use, try, 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 uh, try speaking it there, Mitch. Holy fuck. That was maybe one of the greatest red, or, uh, might have been one of the greatest chests. And by chests, I mean that was really, really lucky there. I don't mean, you know, female chests. Friends to the end. Not a great pill, but um, I've seen worse. Kamikaze is about as bad as it gets. Harlequin Baby will take. Because um, we're not going to probably be have a chance to re-roll it. That golden chest, not quite as good as our last one. But, can't win them all. Can't win them all. So we're looking pretty good here. Plenty of money for the shop. Uh, we've got our curse room there, which we will definitely be attending. Should have a pretty decent chance at a deal with the devil at this point. Um, should have a real decent chance. We haven't taken any damage, much less red heart damage. Um... What would we want from the deal with the devil? We'll pick up that key in a minute. My cats are fighting, apparently. Um, what would we want? I mean, I guess I'd probably consider the mark or the pact. Um, Jesus, cats, be quiet. The mark or the pact, maybe... Um, 
What else? Just straight damage up upgrades or tears upgrades would be fine. That was a full spirit heart to flies. Now, that could be the hero font, and that would be hugely awesome. It's Wheel of Fortune instead. We got another key. Uh, this floor is turning out to be quite large. We'll go to the shop after the boss. And I think this is the Gertie that only spawns flies. Oh, and then we fucking took damage. Excuse me? You bastard. That's super annoying. That was super dumb of me. I got super close. Acted like an idiot. And that cost us the deal with the devil. Most likely. We could have just stood here and handled our business. Super bandage is great. Um, pretty decent chance to deal with the devil on the next floor now. Probably should have waited again, but blue candle uh, we'll pick up and then we'll actually reroll. Notched axe, also pretty bad. We don't know what this pill is. Health up, awesome. That's awesome. What is this pill? Is this bad trip? Range down. That's pretty shitty. We don't want that. Sacred fucking heart, though, ladies and gentlemen. That there is a pretty rare pickup. I think in all the episodes, all the episodes that I've recorded, maybe it's shown up three times. It's like one every, what, 40 episodes, maybe? It's pretty rare. Um, it's extremely rare. And <laughs> all because I didn't reset Isaac because we would have never gotten to deal with the angel if I would have uh, not reset it. So now where is our secret room? By the way, that was a great curse room. Two spirit hearts. Phenomenal. We'll take that every time. Oh, we should really check out the rest of this floor. Maybe we get a judgment. You know? Who knows? And maybe we get another uh, reroll. It's highly unlikely. It would be super awesome if we did. Let's just take out Super Lust here. Hopefully get Poison Touch. Gonna get Yum Heart instead. Um, I don't know that I've... Have I ever seen Yum Heart show up because of Poison... Or uh, because of... Super Lust? I don't think I have. Probably have. I probably just didn't notice because... Let's be honest, you're not going to be blown away that uh, Yumheart just showed up for you. Holy shit, Yumheart's here. That's awesome. We're a game winner. Game winning item. It's like the only, It's like the main item that Biznap looks for when he breaks the game. Yeah, no. None of that shit's true. Uh, this could potentially be the secret room. It is sweet. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. We're in a very good spot. In a very, very good spot. Um, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at you. You got nothing but love for you a range down. We don't want it. So we're going down to the next floor, and I would say we have a very good chance at a deal with the devil here. We're going to open this, because we're crazy powerful. Um, that's fine. We took a half a heart of damage so far. I mean, it's possible that we take more. It's unlikely, but it's possible. I'm going to have the heads. Oh, we're not going to have the heads, which concerns me a little bit. Uh, if we had piercing shots, I'd say that this is like a one run. 
I mean, most people would probably say, dude, you can ability to fly Sacred Heart and the Pentagram, decent amount of HP. I'd say you're in a one run. Well, you might, but you'd be wrong. Uh, yeah, we'll re-roll this. Maybe try to get this to a. Uh, I'm not. I'm okay with um, fighting the Horseman of the Apocalypse here, so. We'll use Book of Revelations, that'll give us one more Spirit Heart, get us one, or give us a little bit more buffer here to get a deal with the Devil. Um, we don't have any Guppy items that I'm aware of. There's a Blood Bank that is pretty enticing. Seriously? I thought we killed that guy. Perfect. All right. Easy enough. Pretty bad damage there. Really bad damage there. Extremely bad damage. Knock it off, Leaper. Thank you. Fuck. Super greed. I wish our uh, range was better. It's not, unfortunately. That was pretty bad damage there. What are we going to get? Anything? Anything good? Bunch of money and a key. Fuck. There's our boss. Right there. Still get our half uh, spirit heart. And we're going to fight war. That's good. Of course, war doesn't blow up the... Uh, the one rock that I want him to blow up. He's an idiot. And he's a bastard. And we have the ability to fly. Another deal with the angel. It's crazy. Uh, guardian angel. We'll take it. Um, blow up this tinted rock. We'll pick up those spirit hearts on the way out. Take our cube of meat. We need to find our item room still. And we'll probably play that blood bank at least a little bit. Wish we could see where the hell we were going so we could tell if there were a lot of red hearts on the floor. I guess I could take my lazy ass and walk around and look, but probably won't do that. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm too lazy. Perfect. I was just far enough away for those guys not to be able to get to me, but for me to be able to uh, slap them in the face with either Sacrificial Dagger or um, there's Bad Trip. There's a full health pill. That's extremely nice. And Infestation is not great. Shoop to Whoop is worse. If I would have known, I would have uh, absolutely probably take an infestation because we're not going to get any rerolls here so it's unfortunate <clears throat> now because we have the bad trip pill I feel like we can go extremely hard on this hopefully get the blood bag I would be very very happy with that IV bag sucks but it is what it is. Maybe we uh, come across money equals power or something. That would be make it worth it. So at this point, where should we end up? I mean, I think we should probably win this run. Um, we're still going to need a little help, though. Um, our damage is very solid, but it's not so crazy high that you know, we're, you know, one-shotting crazy enemies. 
Um, you know, if we picked up something like Mom's knife, yeah, I think that's pretty much a guarantee. <laughs> oh my! Oh, that shit is funny. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick it up. We're we're gonna pick it up because I think it's we have the potential of maybe just doing such an insane amount of damage that I, it, I mean it shouldn't even be fucking close at this point now if we lose this run um, we've got some serious problems on our hands it'd be nice if you hit the heart there you go Nice. Don't take shitty damage on this floor. Cancer. Phenomenal trinket. Oh, damn it. Hold on. Hey. Hey. Okay. Sorry, I would have normally probably... There's no way to pause, unfortunately, with, uh... Ah, uh, the battery, yeah, we'll probably take that. Um, unfortunately, there's no way to pause with XSplit. That's one of the downfalls, um... Of... One of the only downfalls of XSplit. Cancer, I think, uh... Burnt Penny's gonna be better, I should have picked it up before. Let's see here. I gotta hurry, because I gotta... I got 20 minutes, probably, to finish this run. And I think we should be just fine to do that. We gotta knock that bullshit off. Um, we'll play the arcade. Just to get a little bit more HP. This is probably really stupid. We're gonna go down to two hearts. One and a half hearts. Totally worked out. Got a whole shit ton of bombs for it. Genius. Genius move. Alright. So now. Let's just uh, bum rush mom. Perfect. Should not be an issue at all. I mean, this... If there's an issue, it's only because I'm I'm blowing it. It's only because I was on my knees blowing the game. Eve's dead bird foot have zero interest in. Get that little bastard. Boss trap room. Uh, normally would have totally gone there. But, uh, child's heart, no thanks. And mom's dead. <laughs> Polaroid. HP up. Let's get the F out of here. Utero, I, I think we're fine. If we could some... Oh, I should have went and picked up the battery. That was stupid. That was pretty bad damage there. I think we'll check this out. It cost us a heart. It's alright.
taking some shitty, shitty damage here, but hopefully we, you know, hopefully it doesn't damn us. This is frustrating. There, finally. Want to stay at the half heart interval for sure. Had to get that bomb or that heart out of the way. Uh, let's see. We gotta stop taking so much damage. This isn't a one run if you take shitty damage on every single room. Even with the ability to fly, even with Sacred Heart, even with Mom's Knife, it is still possible to lose the run if you don't dodge appropriately. Identical room to the last one. Spirit Heart is very nice. Do we get another uh, deal with the Angel on this floor? Maybe. Probably not. Quad Shot. Nope. Polyphemus would be a huge pickup. I mean, holy Christ. Sacred Heart, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus. That's called probably... That would officially be the most powerful run I've ever had. And that would be insane. That was terrible, terrible damage. Horrible damage. Let's go re-roll these. Polyphemus. God, that would be awesome. I mean, it would make this run. Toothpicks. Uh, we're going to pick up Scapular. Toothpicks does nothing for us. Um, range down. That's of no use to me. Let's fill out. Uh, let's, find, uh, let's find our boss. And hopefully dominate the shit out of it. Pretty bad damage there. The left hand is interesting. Um, I'm gonna face this little bastard. Let's see. Should be probably dead very soon. All right, another cube of meat. Second level cube of meat. It's pretty good. Um, we're gonna go fight in one more room to uh, get another reroll. We need a half heart. I wonder if that's a. Ha oh, that is a half heart up there. So we'll go pick that up in just a second, and then. We'll move on, but we're gonna re-roll our our library, which is now a double item room, which is pretty uh, pretty sweet. But we want this half heart. Permanent Polaroid invincibility allows us to make that bad trip pill into a full health pill. All very good things. No, Charm of the Vampire is terrible takes us out of a half heart. Here's why Charm of the Vampire is a F-class item in my opinion. It takes you off of a half heart interval without your, without you having a say in it. Um, Curse of the Lost is concerning. It's fine. Thought we could maybe... Ah, oh, damn it. Eternal Heart. We're just going to pick it up. Um, we're likely going to take damage on this floor, but... Ooh, that helps. A lot. Interesting. We could gamble a little bit, but I don't think we're going to. There's our mom fight. Or uh, it lives fight, excuse me. 
which we take and it would be awesome if we okay let's be fucking careful here boys Perfect. <sighs> Need a half heart. We could lose this. And that would be very, very bad for business. Um, very, very bad for business. We do have almost a full suite of orbitals, but not quite. Another bomb is nice, but... Solid chain reaction there. Um, no reason to take damage on it. Oh, you stupid fucker. All right. This is maybe the worst. Damn you fucking Harlequin baby and all your bullshit. And my range is so limited. our half heart thankfully we need some luck on the chest here boys which is embarrassing that we need we're gonna reroll all these and I guess we're gonna take poison touch Hopefully this spawns a chest. Didn't was this bad trip? Fuck! The sun? No. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be fine here. All right, we got a reroll. I still think we can make this work. Um, I have taken some really bad damage. Pills? Full health. It's game over, boys. I mean, at this point, if we don't win, we don't deserve to win. Period. Period. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna kill, hopefully, Gluttony last, maybe? Uh, we of course we didn't. Oh, and then uh, we got scapular, which was very nice. And scapular is hugely effective for us. Hugely, hugely effective for us. Um, we got to use this full health pill, unfortunately.
All right. I'm a little nervous. I'd like a uh, half heart interval. We could still get Polyphemus, potentially. Celtic Cross will take, and we'll uh, set the rest of this back down. Okay, knock it off. Nobody likes a douchebag. Half heart. Thank you. That's huge. At that point, I'm pretty sure we can just tank the rest of this. If we can get to the blue baby fight, I'm pretty sure we can just tank it. We're looking really good at this point. Got lucky not to take damage there. But... Poison Touch. What do we got here? Uh, Roid Rage. Damage and... Um, range up. That's good. And there it is, folks. Should basically be able to pretty much one-shot anything at this point. I would hope. Okay. Well, apparently we're clearing out the whole chest. Another spirit heart. Guri is one shot. War is a one shot. Pestilence is a one shot. Sloth is a one. Sh Super Sloth is a one shot. Um, we'll just pick that up. Ooh, Wrath, not a one shot apparently. It's fine. Take it. And Blue Baby. Two shot it. Two fucking shot it. Most overpowered run I've ever had easily. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch up with you in the next one. That was fun, and I can't believe I almost fucking blew it, but we made it happen. So thanks, guys. Uh, bye bye